Hi everyone and welcome to Open Meeting. We have our guest focus segment right here. As you know, we bring some great friends from around the world together to talk uh, a little bit. And now we are in an intergalactic Skype interview with David <laughs> Vanderveen from XS. David, how are you, my friend? I'm great, Doug. It's good to be on the line with you here today. On the line. We got this tech stuff down yeah. pat. Hey, tell us about <laughs> your latest adventures. You're all over the world with folks. Tell us about some of your latest adventures. Well, you know, uh, hold on a minute. I've got to, uh, I've got to wet oh. my whistle. Before we... Okay, you, you, I'll do the same. Right. No, you know, I was just in, I was just in Europe for a couple of weeks. It was my 49th birthday. I'm getting a little older, Doug. Uh -oh. And um, yeah, still young at heart, we, though. Yeah, still, still doing all right. Young at heart. But yeah, so we were, we were uh, all across Europe. But uh, we skied in Kitzbühel in Austria. It reminded me why I'm not a professional. It was, uh, <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> oh man. Good for you. Good for you. You know, really, the the one of the ideas around the XS brand is really the lifestyle that that you have this adventurous lifestyle, skiing off piece, going to you know, connecting with people uh, in different parts of the world. Just talk about how that fits with the and how it connects with the Amway business. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It, for me, it's always been about kind of living authentically, right? About being who we are and um, and and creating a life that I think hopefully is compelling that, that other people uh, feel like it adds value to them and they want to participate in. When we talk about doing this online, we talk about, you know, creating content in a community that has a context that inspires. And, and you know, eventually that may or may not reach the commerce, but I think the point is that, that we're doing things that, that look like a lot of fun and that other people want to join in. You had a couple in the, in, in the past, uh year or so, a couple of huge launches uh, with XS around the world in India and China. Talk a little bit about some of the experiences that you had there, what you saw uh, that where, where the product really connected with that lifestyle and uh, and helped a lot of people see a bigger vision for themselves. Sure. You know, um, Doug, our, our brand XS has never been about selling drinks, although that's an outcome of what we do. It's been about, you know, being a tool to help people see this business in a new light through the experience we create. And I think with, uh, you know, with the launches that we had, it also exemplifies the amazing partnerships that, that we've been able to build with ABO leaders around the world and IBO leaders around the world. Um, you know, in particular in India and, and China, we did some really long tours. Uh, in China, we did uh, six and a half weeks. In India, we did over two weeks. The Indians told me even Indians don't go to as many cities as we did. <laughs> but the idea but it's so much fun, you know. Every place we go, it's an adventure, and you're meeting new people who are who are looking for ways to really expand their lives and and do more than maybe they thought they could. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the fun things where those launches and other things that you do, it's fun to follow you on social media and be able to track everything. And and I think it's such a, a wonderful combination and mix in their business of how technology. Uh, plays such an important role, but yet it's still about people. Technology enhances the relationship. It's not technology for technology's sake. Maybe you can touch on uh, how you see it and how you uh, uh, use and work in that environment. Sure. You know, for, for us, we've been doing a lot with social media since the mid-2000s. Like 2008, we probably really focused on it and started to transform our business. And by 2010, I think 90% of all of our communication with, with ABO leaders was over social, especially the younger ones. You know, I think what it comes down to is who are you trying to reach? How are you trying to communicate them? What's going to connect with them? And how does that platform let you do it? And so, you know, it's certainly been a learning curve for us, but it's also been a lot of fun. For me, it becomes just a natural extension of what I'm doing every day. I'm, I'm constantly taking, capturing images or videos and, and just sharing them because not to necessarily show everybody what I'm doing, but to have a conversation about it. Yeah. And that's been a lot of fun for us and, and something that seems to be engaging for a lot of the ABOs that we work with and, and their friends. Well, it, it, you know, you and I, we, we feel the same way. Just the, the joy is for us to have a chance to be with our Amway friends, uh, our employee friends, our ABO friends from all over the world. It's just a joy to be together and, and have those experiences. David, thank you so much for your uh, insights, your experiences, and sharing them with us. And so uh, that uh, concludes our guest focus uh, segment here on Open Meeting. Thanks, David. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it.